Hey everybody, I'm Private Matt, and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to effectively play the Assault Kit in Battlefield Bad Company 2, Vietnam. Now this video will be split up into five different sections, and each section will contain various information on the specific topic. And just a quick note before I move on to the first section, I've picked up an HDP VR, so from now on all my videos will be shot in beautiful 180p quality. And if you want to see that being demonstrated, be sure to increase the video settings to either 720 or full 180p HD. Alright, so without further ado, let's move on to our first section, class setup. So my preferable class setup for the assault kit consists of my primary being the AK-47, my secondary being the M1911 pistol, my gadget being the M79 grenade launcher, and my spec 1 perk being the extra grenade upgrade when I'm defending on rush, and I'll usually use a lightweight perk when I'm attacking on rush. As for my second spec, I'll usually run with Magnum Ammo, and for your third spec, I'd recommend using the Extra Vehicle Armor. And up top are my weapon picks for the Assault Kit, first being the AK-47, second being the M16, and third being the M14. Now moving on to our next section, Weapon Specifications, where I'll tell you everything you need to know about the three Assault-specific weapons. So to kick it off with my personal favorite Assault weapon, the AK-47. Now the AK has a maximum damage of 20 and a minimum damage of 17, which is a fairly high damage output and a fairly low damage drop over range. This gun will spit out 750 rounds per minute and has a reload time of about 1.86 seconds, which is the fastest reload time of the three assault specific guns. The AK-47 also has a maximum magazine size of 30 bullets. Overall I found that the AK-47 is the best weapon to use for the assault kit and that's because of its fairly high damage output, very low recoil, and very high clip size. Now moving on to our next weapon, the M16, which has a maximum damage of 18 and a minimum damage of 13. This gun will spit out 800 rounds per minute and has a 1.98 reload time. And just like the AK, the M16 has a maximum clip size of 30. Now the M16 is my second weapon of choice when playing the assault kit and that's due to its high rate of fire and its consistent recoil. Before we move on to the next section, I just want to let you guys know that all these stats are available in the description. If you missed one or wanted to review them, you can do that during or after the video. Alright, now let's move on to our last weapon, the M14. The M14 will put out a maximum damage of 22, the highest of all the assault rifles, and a minimum damage of 18. It will also spit out 700 rounds per minute and has a reload time of 2.1 seconds. The M14 also has a pretty small clip size with only 20 bullets per magazine. Now this gun is my last choice of all the assault rifles and that's because of its very high recoil and very small clip size. Moving on to our next section, the M79 Grenade Launcher Tactics. The M79 Grenade Launcher, or commonly referred to as the Noob Tube, is the only gadget available for the assault kit in Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam. This weapon is very useful and deadly when being used correctly. And in this case, correctly means hitting your target dead on and giving you a quick and easy kill. The best use for this grenade launcher is killing groups of enemies as well as flushing enemies out of cover. And on to our next section, Assault as an Anti-Vehicle Role. The M79 grenade launcher is commonly used as an anti-infantry tool, but it can also be used as an anti-vehicle tool as well. The grenade launcher does 100 points of damage to vehicles, and since the tank has a base health of 1000 points, that means you're basically taking away 10% of the tank's health. But that's not including the light vehicles, boats, and aircraft as well. So that basically means you can use your grenade launcher as support to your engineers and help them take out the enemy vehicles. You can also use your assault kit to take down enemy helicopters, as in this game, bullets can do damage to enemy Hueys. The amount of health on these helicopters are considerably low, and you could probably take one out if you put three or four full magazines into the helicopter. And moving on to our final section, Multiplayer Tips and Tactics. When playing the Assault Kit, I found that the best maps to play on was Hill 137 on Rush, as well as Vantage Point on Rush as well. Now once you're in the game, some tips I can give you is to consistently be throwing out your ammo boxes, but don't be afraid to split up from the rest of your team as you do have an unlimited source of ammo. Another good tip is that for long range engagements, be sure to burst fire your weapon as it severely reduces recoil. Now your role as the assault kit is to provide most of the killing power and lead your team in the attack for objectives. Once your team has got the objective arm, don't be afraid to sit back and pick off enemies running to defuse the objective. And I find that the assault weapons get that job done fairly well. Well guys, that's about it. 
If you liked the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content to come. I plan on doing a tutorial for the medic and recon kits as well, so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, I'm Private Matt, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Enjoy. For the next video in the series, be sure to click out now.